Hey there YouTubers, right, so this is going to be the uh, the second video for tonight. Now, I said um, I wasn't going to use as many toppings, but if you can see what I've got left over from the, uh, the two, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of a modification to this one now. This one here won't have the, um, the egg, and it'll have a different sauce and a different type of prawn. So, that's how we go. So... We've got the base already pre-sourced. Now, it's been sitting around for a little while, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Just, let, just lets it uh, thicken up a little bit. So, more or less, with this video here, I'm just gonna smash over the whole pizza with every leftover bit I've got. So, I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. So, what I wanna try is I'm just gonna grab a bit of a handful of um, sort of everything and sort of scatter it this time. Instead of like just doing layers, layers by layers by layers, um, it's a little bit different. So this is gonna have a lot of bacon. It's gonna have a lot of chicken. And it's capsicum, red and green. Sort of make it funny a little bit. Now, there's no barbecue sauce as I said before on this one. So scatter a lot of bacon on there. I love my bacon. And as I said before, everyone loves bacon. So, get your reds and your greens, your capsicums. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna empty that. Watch on the floor. Now, what I gotta do is I've somehow gotta figure out how to scatter that all over the place. Because you want a nice equal spread. And the bacon looks like it's like kind of in cubes because the way I had to cut it up before. So This one here is actually, it's got a different type of prawn. This is garlic prawn. So the other one had the standard prawns. So this one's gonna have a nice garlicky taste. And with the sauce, it's gonna have the sweet chili on there. So it's gonna taste a little bit different to the other one. Um, pretty sure they're both gonna taste pretty good. Um, except for with the other one, yeah, there was a little bit of leakage from the, um, the egg yolk. Nothing wrong with that. It's all right with a little bit of leakage. But as I said, I um, when I cook these, I don't actually eat them straight away. Where most people are like, oh yeah, yeah, get in my belly, get in my belly. Well, the way I say it, this kind of base that I'm using, it's, um, it's a cheap base, but it does taste really good when it's, um, when it's like reheated. So, for this lot here, I've got what I've got there, I've got all the uh, toppings on there. Um, I'll let run away from. There's some bacon, and some onion. Right, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so this one here is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna sort of put the cheese on top. Instead of like uh, putting the toppings over the cheese, so I'm gonna sort of infuse it. But I want to try a little, a little different thing. I want to just try a little bit, a little bit more of the pizza base sauce on top. Because yeah, it's so worth wasting it. So, so it looks a little bit Italian-like, but it's not quite Italian-like. And then we'll just scatter a little bit of ham on top as well. Now the only thing I haven't done. And everyone will always say, pizza, you don't put pineapple on pizza. Some people say, yeah, 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 it's gotta be there. It's gotta be there. And other people are like, no, 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 don't put pineapple on bloody pizza. Kill the pizza. Well, one thing tonight, um, I'll be meeting best of both worlds. I'm not putting any pineapple on at all, but I am using sweetness with the sauces. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Pineapple just gives a sweetness to any kind of pizza. So yeah, I've uh, got like garlic corn fingers, so I don't want to go into the cheese. So I'm not going to overkill on the cheese. It's not like a Kevin McAllister like, I want an old cheese pizza. You gotta buff it up. Well, no. I'm going to have to buff this one up. Anyhow, spreading this on. 
thing is with cheese too. Yeah, I reckon too much cheese it, it gives it a bit of a salty vibe, and yeah, it kind of makes it feel a little bit, yeah, a little bit crook. I mean, unless you're like a really major cheese lover. I think, in my opinion, a little bit more. Like you don't want like a full bloody yellow, oily cheese pizza. And oils, oils aren't bad on pizza. It gives the lubrication through to the base. But I think that is perfect. That is a perfect amount of cheese. And before I put the, um, the chili sauce on, you will see that looks perfect. In my opinion, anyway. So, we're going to put the uh, sweet chili master food sauce on this one, which with the other pizza, I use the um, master foods barbecue sauce. So it's going to be a little bit of a different texture. Um, I'm going to do a similar thing to what I've done before, Just splash it over, sort of like a, I don't know, <laughs> Koi Joy crossover pattern. Dose on there. Put a little bit around the rim. And that's there. That should come up quite nice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pop that into the ziggy, and I'll show you guys how it looks when she's sitting on the um on the plate. Right, yeah. So as I said before, um, yeah, the ziggy's still got the smoker going. I did put some more chips in there. Um, you don't want to go overkill on this because it is quite strong and when you're in a garage it does really smoke it out and as you can see when I very first started this channel I did clean this top lid and there's a lot of <laughs> backsplash oil now um, I did give myself a nice uh, scar on my foot last time I cleaned this thing in the summer and yeah they are uh, they're not the easiest things to clean so yeah, you can see it's been well used, but the funny thing is, it's only a year and a, uh, not even a year and a half old. So anyhow, this pizza weighs a ton. <laughs> now, suddenly like what I've cooked here, I reckon that there, that could easily feed, um, no, nah, that could easily feed, yeah, two people. Very light eaters, that could feed probably, uh, very light eaters, that could probably feed four people, maybe five people, um, but yeah, I like my pizza. Everyone else who um, who likes to eat pizza with me, we enjoy a very large pizza. We're, um, yeah, very hungry people. So anyhow, I'm gonna let this um, sizzle it away. And as I said before, she's, Sitting around about the 200 degree mark now. The um, the first one that I cooked before, I actually cranked it up to around about the 200 degree mark, 210 degree mark. And as I said, if it wasn't for the juices, and that gauge is actually that gauge is actually covered in dust, so it's probably a little bit clearer. Um, yeah, if it, if it wasn't for the juices, um. I Probably, yeah, probably would have cooked a little bit lower. But, um, yeah, I think this one here, I'm going to leave this about 200, 210. Now, Ziegler and Brown, they say when you cook pizzas on these, uh, you're supposed to preheat them up to 200, 200 degrees and leave them there for 20 minutes. Now, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not bagging the chefs, I'm not a chef myself. Um, but, yeah, they say 20 minutes. Um, they probably use very light toppings. Now, I'm actually using pretty heavier toppings. Um, I would probably highly recommend cook it around about 200 at around about 25 minutes if you get to use toppings like these. Uh, but it all depends on your base as well. And by as I showed in one of my previous videos, compared to the Weber's or any kind of smoker you actually use, if you can see those vents on the back, you better see the glow from the um, the burner there. So that's your right hand burner there, and that's your left hand burner there. Sorry, I'm using the phone on a tripod. Um, 
yeah, the ventilation system on these is a very weird system. And that's why I say in a lot of my videos, when you cook a roast, um, you got to rotate the roast. Now, I don't, I've, ne I've never actually cooked on a proper gas Weber myself, but I've heard from many people, all you do with a roast on a Weber is you just throw it in and let it cook. Now, with this thing here, every single roast I've done, even when I've done my two-part video today with the um, with the pork belly, you got to rotate it. So this is the only flaw I find in this barbecue. Um, yeah, if anyone can actually explain the reason why they like these, I mean, I'm I'm thinking myself. Yeah, it's probably so the lid doesn't go you know, pop off and get you know, just go blast and destroy the barbecue. Um, I'd really like to know why. Because I don't find a barbecue like this needs two big vents on the back. They should probably be about half the size of what they are. Or there should be a vent on the uh, left-hand side and the right-hand side. So yeah, it'd be very interesting to find out about that. But anyhow, we're going to let this, um, this heat up. So I've got the left and the right burner on very low at the moment. So I'm going to tweak these up to about halfway. On each burner I'll let that hum away for about 20 minutes and I'll show you how it looks yeah in about 20 minutes or so or 10 minutes rightio so this is the second pizza so as I said before this is part two of the videos now I figured out the issue with the phone I didn't clean out the recycle bin I don't know why this camera is a bit blurry but, um, yeah, so this is sitting around, uh, let's go this, this is sitting around, yep, so we're sitting at 180 degrees, now I backed the burners down, they're all low, because I didn't want to um, actually charcoal this one, so the product is going to be coming off this one now, this is the second pizza, now, I reckon, in all honesty, this one looks a little bit more colourful than the other one. Now, mind you, I did say before, um, there was going to be less toppings on this. Now, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> the only differ between the other, this pizza and the other one, and I, and I did say when I was making these up, is um, this got a different type of prawn. So this one's actually got garlic prawns. This one's got sweet chili sauce and it hasn't got egg. But there will be a difference between the flavor of the two pizzas. So I'm gonna shut the burners off. The good thing about the, the Ziggy Brown is you just, yeah, it's just, yeah, just click. And the other thing is, I haven't actually said this in the past with the videos. The igniters in these are really good because they, um, you wanna ignite the uh, left burner you can ignite it, turn it off. You want to ignite the middle burner. The middle burner will go. You want to ignite the first burner. It goes like that. So that's that's a big advantage with this um, barbecue where a lot of um, barbecues, you, you have to ignite the first burner to get the rest going. So this is the really good thing about the triple burner. And I really love that. So anyhow, <coughs> um, don't mind the coughing. It's not COVID. It's just um, it's just probably too many sickies. So, as you can see, she's dripping all the juices out. Now, the juices will be from the prawns, and it'll be coming out from the cheese and the sauce because the sauce that was actually um, it was in the freezer. I actually froze that because I bought a lot of sauce last time I cooked pizzas on the ziggy. And I thought, well, I'm not going to throw it out. Might as well freeze it because I know I'm going to do pizzas again sometime soon. And it was still in date. So, um, yeah. So, anyhow, this is how the second pizza looks. And as you can see now, the um, the smoker is smoked out. <laughs> Be like Warren G, like, smoking me out of me out. And, um, yeah, the stone's going to need a little bit of a clean. Um... And you, you can even hear that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's been um, 
been a it's been a uh, little bit of an experience tonight as um I've only ever done pizzas on the um the stone once. Um these ones actually they I think these are gonna be probably the best looking ones I've done so far, and I'm not just saying that. But um yeah. Hopefully they taste as good as what they look. They're not actually burnt on the bases either, so that's a bonus as well, because generally you'll find you, you put a lot of heat into these and you'll end up burning the bases. Um, but that's why they say you use the trivet and the stone and you don't use your um, your middle burner because that's where it's actually going to draw a lot of heat through. And you're probably actually going to cremate the whole thing. So that's a good thing about um, having a triple burner. Um, you've got the advantage with having the um, indirect heat. So anyhow, this is going to be... The last video for this weekend, um, I will try and find something new to cook next weekend. I'm tossing up on a couple of ideas. I've got a, um, I've got a nice little snapper sitting in the fridge, or as some say, a pinky. I think it is. I may be wrong. I'm not a fisherman, but um, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that in there. And I would like to try and use the wok sometime soon. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. So, any suggestions? Um, what to try I'm always new on ideas um, but yeah uh, like share and yeah subscribe and yeah send me an inbox or a message and yeah I'll get back to you guys soon thanks for watching